Before I install our turntable, I want to share a small revelation with you. Last year when I was drawing up the track plan, and I placed the Atlas turntable on, I noticed it had twice the amount of roundhouse stalls than the one we have. So I just thought Atlas makes two types of turntables. No big deal. My brother, the other M, he purchased some used train stuff from an online seller, and one of the items was this Atlas roundhouse, or quarter roundhouse, if you will. And we were like, great, we have a roundhouse for a turntable. But as you can see, it can only store one locomotive properly. The other tracks don't fit so well. So, I did some research online and... What the heck is that? Anyway, I went to the Atlas website because if Atlas makes two turntables, surely they make two types of roundhouses. Turns out, they don't. My brother and I own the old 303 model. The newer one is a 305 model. What does this mean? We own an antique. There's the original box that the 303 came in. And it's yours for only $200. And here's the best part. We're going to ship your entire order free. That's right, free shipping. I'll even throw in this box with it too. Well, I'm off to buy the 305 model so it can match this roundhouse, hopefully. BRB. Here's the new turntable, old turntable, new turntable, old turntable, $25 turntable, double that price turntable, hope it's worth it. Old turntable with the motor, new turntable with the hand crank which works great. You'll notice the old turntable has one track stall space, another track stall space, and then so on. The new one, there's double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So you have twenty-one locomotives in your in your uh, in your room house, which is pretty impressive. I think we'll just use half which again is more than this one because we're kind of constrained with uh, space here. Now we're going to test out the roundhouse with the new turntable. 305 model, so it can match this roundhouse, hopefully. Okay, I'm back. This is not an Atlas roundhouse. My apologies. Just some more research. Turns out that uh, Walther's makes one too. And the angles are slightly different, which I just proved to you on YouTube. I assumed this was an Atlas roundhouse because it sure looks like the one in the picture that I saw. But I guess it's not. And I can't see. Uh, anywhere where I would say otherwise, but that's what I think. So the Atlas turntable does not match the non-Atlas roundhouse. And now I may have to consider buying a Atlas roundhouse or doing something completely different. 
But uh, hey, this is still for sale. 200 bucks. I'll throw in the mortar. And this nice round house, which is not compatible with either turntable. <laughs> Bye. Pick a